There are two ways to bind the data in the view instance to the HTML template. The first one is using the must as syntax, which is also known as the double curly braces. And this is the approach we've already seen. If you have a data property called name, you just include it within a pair of double curly braces in your HTML and view takes care of binding that data. So we have a name of value Vishwas and when we bind this, we get hello Vishwas in our browser. Now the mustache syntax can be used as part of a larger string like in this example, hello name, or it can also be the only content of the HTML element. For example, I can remove hello, save this, refresh the browser and it still works. It is also possible to have multiple mustaches within a single HTML element. Let's say we create a new data property. Let's call this greet and let's say hello. And in the h1 tag, we can add double curly braces and specify greet. Now, if you have a space over here, save it and refresh, we should be able to see hello Vishwas. So all these approaches work just fine. The second way is using a directive. And a directive is nothing but a special HTML attribute. And in Vue.js, each directive has a V dash prefix. Now the directive used for binding text is V dash text. So let's take a look at an example and understand this better. Let's create a new property. I'm going to call this app name. And this is going to be code evolution. Now, if we have to bind this using the V text directive, here is the syntax. Let's create a new div tag. To this div tag, we add the directive V dash text. And then to this directive, we assign a value of the data property. And this time it is going to be app name, the property we just created. Now notice that the inner text of the HTML element is left blank. This is because the vText directive replaces the data property value as the inner text of this particular HTML element. So let's save this and refresh and you can see the data binding. There you go, you can see code evolution. Now the only drawback of vText directive is that it replaces the entire text content of the HTML element with the data property value. So if I wanted something like my app name is followed by the application name, it is not possible with the vText directive. Let's save this and take a look at the browser. Now, if I refresh it, you can see that it still says code evolution. This particular text over here is not visible. That is because the vText directive replaced code evolution with the entire text content of this div tag. So that is about the vText directive. To summarize, we have two ways to bind text. We have the mustache syntax and also the vText directive. You can use the mustache syntax to bind partial or full text content in an HTML element, whereas vText directive can only be used to bind full text content. Now the cool thing about data binding is that the UI reactively updates any time there is a change in the value of that particular data property. So in the browser console, if I update this name to a new value, you can see that the UI also reflects that updated value. Let's take a look. Let's go back to the browser. I'm going to inspect element, go to the console and the way we access the data property is by using the reference given to our view instance. In our case, it is VM. So it is going to be VM dot followed by the data property. Now, if you want to change the name, it is going to be name and we can assign it a new value. I'm going to say new value. And you can see that the browser or the UI automatically reflects the change in the data property value. So hello, new value. This is really helpful when your UI should update based on some input from the user. But sometimes you may not want the UI to reflect any change in the data property value. For that, Vue provides another directive. So let's take a look at that in the next video.